Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a very interesting looking box. <laughs> it is a senior lead free hot air soldering station. So uh, that's my rework station. And I already have it for a while, but I never showed you before. You just had a quick uh, cleanse at it when I uh, did my modification on the field tech. Um, and the model number of this one is the 8586 and I will I took it out of the box I will zoom in uh, later as you can see it comes with a lot of accessories and it also comes with a manual and uh, it's probably very well descriptive but I really have no idea and but it doesn't seem that complicated you just uh, switch it on in the back why the, would you have your switch in the back I, I really don't understand why people do that and they did it here they even did it with my desoldering uh, iron uh, there also switch in the back and <laughs> I don't get it so I will probably later make a switch in the front as well because yeah it's just silly okay and uh, here we have a closer look as you can see the, there is a soldering iron oh, it's very nice it, this is the standard tip uh, but it comes with uh, five other tips as well especially for the for the real small work you have a really nice pointy one and uh, well you have bigger sizes as well and for the hot air this is the gun and um, you have uh, three holes for that also different sizes depending on your needs so that is all very nice and it seems very it speaks for itself i would say to be honest I, I was a little bit confused in the beginning when i started using it because the i didn't know the meaning of the lights and I'll also uh, because both the rework is switched off here and the soldering iron is switched off here and why does it say a rework so that I, I didn't get um, but then I looked at, uh, at another review from the <laughs> this is probably a copy from the Ethan 8586 and uh, that guy actually explained very well uh, this is just the display selection so when you do up or down this is actually for the workstation but it's only the setting so if I put set then it changes from this to this and now you are setting the temperature of the soldering and that does make sense if I do like this but look if I switch on the rework it goes to rework if I switch on the soldering it goes to soldering and when I switch this one off it goes here so in the beginning I really thought someone really did a bad job wiring my switches because why if I do this one up or down the light suddenly goes there that really didn't make any sense but uh, it just uh, if you do this the rework station is on first of course it's in sleep mode because it doesn't do anything but there is a magnet in the holder so when you take it out it immediately starts to heat and you can see the temperature rising and if I switch this is still the temperature of the soldering iron it is a little bit delayed because it now somehow yeah okay there it comes and if I put it well you can see there is a, a glow yes I'm not sure if you can see maybe if I this is the ventilator so if I turn the ventilator down maybe the heat will come yes I think you can see and I put it back it's cooling it's not even that uh, that noisy and this is the soldering iron 
You can see it heating. Well, it's now up to temperature. So even if I switch it over, it doesn't say anything about the soldering iron. Because it is really the display selection, because as you can see, it is really on. Well, it's not that hot yet. Yes, and now it is. So that's it. <laughs> I thought really somebody messed with my wires, but it's just uh, both on and off. Of course, this one goes to sleep for uh, after a while because uh, it will burn. So. Another nice option is that you can uh, oh, let me take it out. You can change this to this side, which is more practical in my case because it will be there in the corner. And uh, if I blow the heat up or down, it's better on this side instead of in this side. Um, yeah, so you just take out the screws and put it on this one. The only thing is that the cables then are, are turned, but yeah, well, it clearly says rework. So rework is this side, solder is this side. So uh, let's open and see if we can easily put the power switch in the front. Well, as you can see, it's completely open right now. And uh, we didn't damage the warranty seal. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> they should have put it somewhere else. And uh, but uh, yeah, w once I start drilling holes, it probably loses its warranty anyway. This goes back here, I think. So, so let's see what we can do with the power switch. Well, here we have it, and uh, as you can see, and I don't, uh, I, f I think I start to understand, the power switch is in the back, and then it goes first to the front, and then it goes back into the transformer. But then if I look at the, at the traces, and I will try to zoom in, I think that the heat gun actually works on the, on the mains. So that's why it needs to go to the front of the board. But it also me means it's very close by. So we can put an extra switch. So that's the good thing. Maybe you can see, no? because here is, the, here is the switch. And it just comes from here with wires. And then it comes here. And then it comes back here to the primary side. Yeah, it's, it's really a bit silly because you have here your power connection and you have here your switch, but internally it's not connected. So they need to use wires to connect uh, both, both of them together. As you can see, it comes in here. Well, they have properly hurting, that is good. And then these two wires go directly to the switch right here. And then out of the power switch, it goes here. And then it goes back into the transformer, but it also controlled with the, I don't know, triac or something, controlled to the pins right here. And that is the rework station. So the heater probably works uh, on the mains voltage. And so the transformer only needs to power, the, the transformer only powers the ventilator probably that's in the heat gun and the soldering iron well, as you can see there is uh, not too much space to put a switch if we look here in the back there seems to be a lot and as a reference take the top of the display um, so that means everything above here is a space for a switch um, I don't like it to put it in the center. I cannot put it here because here 
with a kind of an edge and just put it in front of the sticker I'm not so sure so I'm probably gonna put it in the corner right here and yeah it will not be one of my best modifications but I really don't like that it is in the in the back so and the good thing is if I put it then I will put it probably here in the corner and the good thing about that is that this just fits like this so if I cut it here I can just solder it immediately on the switch and then I don't need anything extra just cut the wire put some soldering shrink wrap done so I will do that so we need to try to drill a hole exactly there and then the only thing I need is the space of this ring so if this goes exactly here I need to drill the hole exactly there so let's do that okay well to make it look good in the front because then the, the ring or the washer I have is exactly here uh, I needed to put it in this position but then it is now very close to the board here so my switch can only go horizontal and then you switch it on and off horizontal which is just super ugly I will show you if I put in the switch yeah there is no space to put it vertical but I want that so I try to cut something from the PCB if there is not a trace there because I don't like if it goes left to right here it should go up and down so uh, I will take out the board break the seal because there is a hole anyway so it doesn't matter and to see if I find something space there And here we have it, the front with the display, the LEDs, the buttons. Well, here is the front. And I need to cut a little hole in this corner. So I wanted to see if there was a problem with the traces. But I have no traces here in the corner and I have no traces here. So I think that would be fine. And I'm just going to try to cut with my Dremel. Uh, as you see the board already had some modifications and it was not me so apparently they needed some extra traces or something was easily to burn and they just changed that to make that better so this is for sure not the first revision uh, yeah so now I'm just gonna cut <laughs> well, as you see it is possible because I'm not hitting where the screw goes in and there is some space so there is not put any force so if I cut exactly until the hole that the screw can just be fixed then there is no problem at all so it's very very little in the end because it was so little I just uh, cut a little bit with my my plier as you can see just cut out a little corner the screw is can still be fixed I didn't hit the LED so uh, and when I now try to put it in it is a super exact fit so you see there is no pushing it is just a perfect fit and I didn't put a washer in the end I just put only the net and uh, yeah in the end it doesn't even look that bad although I would have preferred if there was some space in the in the bottom but there isn't so uh, yeah I think this was my only place
let's all uh, put uh, back together again uh, now we can do a quick check if it still uh, works and then the switch is here very close by so we can just take one of these wires and just cut it solder and that's it I will do a quick check that's cool so switched on that light still works so I didn't really break anything uh, okay good So here we have it, very little means, just one switch, we were able just to cut that wire, it already had uh, protection, so I just slide that over the pins, and uh, yeah, that's it, very easy. So that was it, uh, was a little bit uh, quick and dirty, uh, but it does function, as you can see, switch in the front, and uh, what I also did when I ordered uh, this uh, rework station, I immediately ordered an extra heating element, because uh, yeah, now I know it's still available, so when it, it probably will break in a few years, hopefully, or later, but then when it does, I'm not sure if this is still available because then they probably copied another uh, uh, model uh, so be smart order things that can break so that's it and thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time